I'm gonna need you to move. Yeah. She has food, she has treats, and I don't even know what you're seeing right now. Is it just her butt? Okay, we're gonna need you to move. Sorry. Go have fun over there. You have toys. Go play with your toys. Thank you. Anyways, that was a chaotic start to this video. Uh, so we are planning the, what is it? 13 to the 19th. Um, this is St. Patrick's week as well, so we have this really cute, um, massive kit from Sweet Ava's Paper. I adore her kits, just because there's so much cool stuff to play with. Um, and we're doing something, something a little, a little different. We put the washi on top. Um, I'm gonna pull out another, a better green pen, because the one from last week, um, doesn't really fit the vibe I'm going for for this one, so. Alright, so, that's the beginning. This is nice. Uh, I don't like that. Hmm. Alright, let's pick out some boxes. So, we have the Friday off because it is um, my regular day off. So we're gonna put a cute, we're gonna do like boxes. So do I, we definitely want a green one on, let's see, 13. Oh wait, I have my look. So we definitely want a green one on Friday. It is St. Patrick's Day that day. Um, and because of that, we'll do kind of like a little weight, some, some structure. Um, we'll do Pink Monday, and then we'll do a Baby Pink Thursday. Um, we'll do some, a fun box this day. Actually, that's too matchy match. I don't like that. Okay, I'll do this little stripe and then a green. No, oh, I still don't like it. Okay. We'll do this one here. Even though it's a little matchy match. And then we'll do this one here. It's a little fun. Um, and then we'll do a solid on Sunday. Perfect. Okay, so I don't have any duty officer shifts this week. Um, let's get, um, some stuff out of the way really quickly. Um, we're wanting to be, ah, okay. I am just chaotic. Okay, so we're gonna do the St. Patrick's Day here. Uh, we're doing like our boxes in the middle this week. Um, I think I've been doing a lot of like the, putting the boxes on top. I did putting the boxes on the bottom last week. Um, so this is fun. I'm gonna start off the week with this really cute one. Um, I love this little art. I think the snowball character is so cute. It reminds me of Khaleesi, except Khaleesi's not all white. She has some black ears and some black tail. And what are you doing, Padme? 
um, grill. Hmm, do I want the little? Actually, no, I want this one in the middle because it's kind of cool. Look at the little stripes. But then she's also holding a clover. Oh, she looks so happy. Um, okay, and then we'll do a green and then this weird little pattern. We'll do the weird pattern on this side. And then we'll do... I'm not a big fan of this like glitter background on this one, but I'm a big fan of just the fact that it says St. Patrick's Day. Although, I think I'm just gonna take it off. Yeah, we're not we're not feeling that as much. Let's do the little leprechaun. Yeah, that'll balance it out. And then we'll use that other one. We're gonna actually cut out the graphic. And we'll put this in our in our journal or something because I really love the actual graphic. I'm just I'm not a big fan of the little the, the glitter whatever backgrounds. That's why I don't I never like glitter headers. I guess I could have done this off camera. It's fine. Um anyways so let me catch you up on live. Uh, we got married in February. Uh, I thought I was going to have a very chill January and February as far as work went. That was not the case. All these storms, while they were awesome, and as a rain fan, I really love the rain. Uh, we actually even got a blizzard warning in LA. Um, there was a lot of rain. It's actually been cold since like Thanksgiving with like a few sprinkled like sunny days, which I lived in Southern California my entire life. So that was quite a change. I am 30. So I wasn't around when the last, uh, I guess, uh, blizzard warning happened. And that was like in 1989. Um, so it was definitely weird. And it's like, now that I live closer to the mountains, it was definitely weird seeing how much um snow was in the mountains that are like right next door to me um they've always been like just dry mounds of like dirt um and then where i go hiking um i haven't been able to go because everything's closed as far as like the oh, what do you call it the trails um that was a hard word <laughs> everything's closed um due to like just uh, safety conditions and all of that but because of everything that happened as far as like, okay, I'm going to have to wipe that out. Um, because of everything that happened as far as like the snow, the, the, wa the, the water, the rain, um, we've had to, um, like that's what my organization does. Uh, you know, we're, we're really busy when stuff like that happens. Um, and it's weird calling it like an emergency but like because our infrastructure is in there it is kind of like an emergency disaster even though it's like not as bad as other places have experienced weather um but yeah like there's definitely um some infrastructure uh response needed um and then like my what I do is usually recovery from these types of things so um I get really busy like prepping before because we know when it's coming like obviously with these we know when they're coming so we do a lot of prep and then like even afterwards like the next six months for me will be hell just because we have deadlines um with like the feds to me and it's just I don't know it's an ongoing nightmare oh shit what did you do? I almost... Uh, Padme's been on something. She's fine. She just dropped one of my baskets that's on one of my other tables. And that was a terrible cut. But it's fine. We're just gonna... We're gonna roll with it. Um, but yeah, like the next six months will be hell. I am not looking forward to that. Um, so like aside from the wedding, like this whole year just has not been 
my favorite I am which is sad because like 23 is my lucky number it's year 2023 and I really want it to be something cool uh, but the universe is not having it with me um but you know we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna roll with it and somehow make this a good year uh so sorry if my uh my what do you call it my videos have been a little sporadic um i'm just like i mean i think there was a couple of weeks where i worked like 60 hour days and then i also have to spend some time with the husband spend some time with the kitties um so and then sometimes i'm just outright exhausted like um because there's some field days because of what i do and so like i'm running around the entire county um and by the time i go home i'm just really tired and also like just been a little overwhelmed um and i don't know if it's like how i have things organized but like or i just have too much crap um but i've been having a lot of mind block when it comes to like planning uh which really sucks because like it also relaxes me um in <laughs> It's weird, like it relaxes me, but at the same time I get overwhelmed. And I don't know if anybody else feels that, but it's been a strange couple of months in these planners. And honestly, this is like the only decor planner that I have. And honestly, I'm not feeling my hope in each two weeks very much. Um, I do have my Sweet Freckles Designs one, uh, which that one's been working out really great. But like, to be honest, it's not like I've been, the way that I've been getting into it is that I have any, I've been putting like stickers like randomly. It's not like a decor planner at all, um, a decorative planner at all. Um, so I don't know. It's been a, it's been a strange, it's been a strange time in my planners. It's the best way I could put it. Um, this is definitely, um, definitely weird um but you know um i'm gonna actually pull out my pen so but it's good overall i'm enjoying the married life i mean we lived together even beforehand so it wasn't too big of a change um but it was definitely um a happy a happy thing to i don't know is my pen dead to celebrate um it went entirely way too fast and i kind of want to rewind <laughs> to the day over just because it felt so short um it was i guess like the anticipation of it and then, then the day came and it went by really really fast um but it's been it's been nice um okay day is this day i'm gonna put like a little thing um okay and then paid oh that's too busy i'm not working all of these like I need something plain guys i need something plain um there we go perfect um hold on there we go But yeah, like that's kind of like the life update. Khaleesi and Padme are still with the craziness. Um, Khaleesi has been not throwing up as much. So I think the food change uh, did her some good. Uh, we found out that she is allergic to chicken um, and possibly all poultry, although she does well with duck. Um, but a lot of it now is like trying to find uh, food that doesn't have chicken or like chicken byproducts, um, <laughs> which is like, she's she's so LA. Um, I get a good laugh out of it. Uh, we just started calling her Hollywood. Um, Cause yeah, so she has that chicken allergy and she now requires fancy food, uh, which has definitely taken a hit on the budget um 
but you know, I love her, so it's fine. Uh, and then you have Padme that's not really interested in all the fancy food, but we're trying to get them to eat the same food, but Padme loves herself her chicken, so we're just making sure that whenever Padme gets chicken, Khaleesi's nowhere close. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it works out. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's been good. I'm glad that she's not throwing up any longer. We got them new litter and I absolutely love it because the old one was not doing what it needed to be done if you catch my drift. Um, I am also on a low spend, I don't know, no spend, low spend. Um, so basically what I did is I, um, came up with some rules. So last week, um, I guess, yeah. So last Sunday, uh, it was the Coffee Monsters Co. Um, so I did spend, sorry, I just hit you guys. I did spend some money on the anniversary sale just because there was some things that were coming out that I had already budgeted for. And then last week was the Itty Bitty Sticker Co. Um, like Molly birthday sale. And of course I had to help in celebrating Molly's birthday. And plus there was some cute things that I needed and things that I ran out of. So um, perfect timing with the sale. Um, but as of right now, just because like what I, I think it's going back to what I was talking about, it's like, just because I've had a lot, Ooh, I actually have some stuff to do this week. Um, but because the, because we've had, um, this moment in time where I feel really uninspired, um, with my planners, I decided that we are going to be just shopping my stash. I don't want to continue to add to it until um, either I finish um, with the stash completely um, or I'm at a place where I appreciate um, like the purchases that are coming in because sometimes like they'll come in and I'm more overwhelmed about how to store them rather than like enjoying my purchase which I never want to feel like that so because of that um we are actually I need to use some of these because of that we are going to just pull back a little bit um I don't think I'll completely ever like not spend money on stationary stuff but I definitely uh, want to pull back just so that I mean look at all these stickers that I need to use um, you know we, we definitely want to pull back because I need to use, use all of these stickers I want to be happy for my, about my purchases um, and a lot of it is just like you know using up the stash like what is the purpose of buying things if i'm not using them and um i think at first like i wasn't entirely sure if there i mean there's always a thing right like things come out they may no longer be available so that you want to like basically save them in your stash and never use them but then at what point are you only holding on to things like the store like the warehouse storage place and at what point are you actually enjoying your purchases? And that's where I got um, stuck on. Like I was purchasing a lot of like limited edition stuff. Um, and then it was just sitting on my desk not being used. Um, and so, I've, you know, it just didn't make sense anymore. So right now I am trying to finish all of my random stickers. Um, to try to um, just have less stuff. I'm also like in the last year or so, I've changed some of like what I was into. Um, there's things that I'm definitely not into at all whatsoever. Uh, for example, Happy Planner is no longer a thing that I'm passionate about. Um, I think a little bit of 
the floral that I used to be into kind of has gone away um, as far as like what I like um, but you know it's good we're evolving and then I'm growing up and so there's a lot of like uh, colors changes if that makes sense like This is going to be my meetup, and then I'm going to do some self-care here, and then there's also, the meetup is going to be at a coffee house. I feel like we should put a little coffee. Um, see, like, this is what, and then I have to revamp how I organize all my things because this is not it. Um, I struggle to find all the things, and I am annoyed at myself. Um, and then this day, we're actually going to BK to build a little notebook. So, I actually like this little guy. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. Are you guys feeling like that? Like, comment below if you are. You know, maybe it's just me, but... Um, oh, what I was saying was... I lost my train of thought. Um, like, I think as I, as I got older, I also changed my colors. Um, I'm still very into, like, colors. Um, however... Um, like, they're different. Um, they're very different and a lot of it has been getting rid of things that I no longer am using. I'm no longer interested in using. Um, and so I also know that they're still nice. And like I still know that they're, they're very nice. Um, at the moment I'm not using them but somebody else can so a lot of it is like trying to figure out what I can give away um, what I can try to I guess sell and <laughs> not necessarily make I'm not looking to make a profit uh, because at this point like that's not the main priority is just to to make sure that I get rid of stuff um, so I just, but I do have some stuff that I would like to, um, get some of my money back, if that makes sense. Um, to get some of my money back, um, so I'm gonna have, like, a whole de-sash thing, um, and then there's other things that I just gave away, um, I got into a lot of like washi and that I'm no longer into anymore. Um, so that's, you know, we're, we're getting away from that. Um, you know, there's some stuff that I still use. Like I love this one and I don't know if you can see it uh, very much, but like it has little clovers in the spark, in the glitter. Um, but yeah, like uh, just, just constantly trying to use my space have things that I actually am passionate about not just holding on to things because they're there um and this goes for my entire house not just like um not just my planner stuff um but just in general trying to be trying to I guess be in with what I like now like it's drastically changed <laughs> oh I cut this wrong hold on I was trying to do something creative while talking anyways maybe this is better anyways it made it a little smaller um but yeah it's it's been a it's been an interesting change oh I do not like that at all okay we try to be creative. It didn't work out because I wasn't paying attention. Um, okay. 
<laughs> Sorry guys, I know I'm supposed to be talking, but I needed this to look nice. Okay, so here we are. Um, I'm really loving this green room. Sorry it's been kind of like a rambly plan with me. I still don't like it as much as I should, but it'll be fine. Um, I'm actually gonna put some, some stuff here. Um, oh, I'm actually gonna go see my sisters this day. Um, so I'm excited to do that. Very excited to see them. I haven't seen them since my wedding, so it's been a while. Um, I think it's somebody's birthday, but I'm not going to put it down until I get confirmation. Um, definitely not cooking this day. So we're going to put that down. Um, so. Do I have any payments to this? Oh, except for that, but that's been done. Mm, oh, they do have one of these. Let's put it here. Because I am meeting them at a coffee shop and it's a planner meetup. I'm super excited. It's like my first one since like last year. Um, and then I'm hoping that I get my shit together. Oops. My shit together. Um, to try to organize some meetups soon. Um... I gotta figure out like the work schedule and the deadline so I don't want to ever like plan something and then have a deadline that same week so just waiting on the work stuff to kind of sort itself out I did go um, take a test for a different position um, so that could determine a few things too <laughs> um, we're gonna get Starbucks on Monday because we try to start the week off on a good thing on a good note um i want to use these but i also want to use them somewhere else on a good note let's see what else do i have to do um so yeah trying to figure out how the how it's gonna end up looking as far as work um we are hoping that by the end of this week, uh, we do have a little bit of a better sense of what the next few months are going to look like. Um, and then I'll, for reals, get started on organizing a few meetups. I do want to do like the first one to do be like a casual meetup and then like the following one, um, I do want to reserve a space and just so that uh, I don't reserve the space and spend all that money. I will make it a ticketed event. Um, I'm hoping the first one's like about 10 to 15 bucks per person. Um, and then if we do that, um, I'll try to get some sponsors, some shop sponsors, um, to come our way. Um, if anything, I can also make some stuff, uh, maybe revive via latte um just in time for that i am also working <laughs> on that and again like that went that went sideways just because a lot of like covid a lot of the covid stuff in my office was under my under my um my responsibilities so but yeah well we're we're looking forward to it uh we'll see how this goes um And yeah, I'm looking forward to kind of being a little bit more involved in the community as far as meeting up, uh, making making sure that I do these videos every week. I um, think we are on a streak for our big plan with me. This is a paper planner A5 in vertical priorities. Um, we're kind of a little bit of hit and miss with the weeks, but that's because I'm just trying to find my way. Um, whether or not I even want to continue with the Hobonichi Weeks just because the freck Sweet Freckles Designs one has been working out. And I don't know if I want to do a plan with me on that one just because 
that's very much a plan as I go and I don't always record <laughs> but we'll figure something out um but yes thank you guys for being here um check me out for the weekly plan with me um in our paper planner this one was a little bit more rambly um and I you know we got a feature from Padme um and then join us Wednesday as we attempt to do another week's Wednesday um I'll let you guys know what we're gonna do uh for that one and then uh comment below what you want to see let me know if you're also like me and feeling uninspired this year um and if you ever did have like a major like changing what you're into like how did you do that uh but thank you got again i don't even think i introduced myself but i'm nayeli i am at two cat wow i am at two cats and a planner um on instagram obviously here on youtube we're trying to get tiktok started so if you use tiktok go ahead and join us there um i appreciate you guys i appreciate you guys being here listening to us I keep saying us as if there's somebody else it's just me um but thank you guys for watching um i'll see you guys here again in a week or probably shorter than that i'm trying to get wednesday up soon um so but at least this one we're being consistent on and this is all i got to offer this again was the simply gildy washi the kit was from sweet ava's paper um this is the cute little snowball character that's from her shop. Um, and then, I don't know if you guys care, but I used the green, the light green hanku. I got these from one of my table mates at the Go Wild of 2022. Um, but yeah, this is all I got to offer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, See you guys next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.